Hey everyone, back with another how-to today. If you wanted to learn how to make your own custom songs in Beat Saber using Chromapper, it is a pretty daunting task at first, but hopefully I'm going to break this down and make it a little bit simpler for you, so that way we can get more people getting into making quality charts rather than seeing some of the AI-generated trash we've seen, or you know some of the stuff that may not be synced properly. So take a look at how to sync up an audio file here first before you get started with mapping. Alright, first you're going to need a couple of different tools. You need to get the Chromapper or whatever your operating system is. This is going to allow you to create Beat Saber charts. Next, you're going to need Audacity. This is going to allow you to edit and convert any of your audio, audio files. After that, you're going to need Aero Vortex. This is a program for writing DDR charts that's got a really good BPM scanner in it. If you do not have WinRAR, then you are going to need that in order to extract it. And then the last link that I have in the description is for a BPM calculator that we'll use later to further sync up our charts. But we're going to start with, we have, I'm going to use Hella Good by No Doubt to, as an example here. And once you do your first time installation for Chromapper, you'll see it'll create this folder called Beat Saber Data and you'll have custom levels and custom WIP levels. The WIP levels is the folder you're going to be working out of and I went ahead and created a folder for the song that we're going to do hella good. Now I started from scratch here so you can actually see what's going on. So right now we're going to open up hella good inside of Audacity. And we'll do control and then scroll up so we can zoom in on it real good and we can see that we have a nice even beat in the beginning. So we're gonna take this now, we have an mp3, we don't want an mp3 because mp3s do not really play nice with Chromapper. We want to export it as an OGG file. We can go ahead and delete the mp3 file since we're not going to be using it anymore. And then from here, we're going to open up Aero Vortex and drag that in there. And this is what it looks like. In Aero Vortex, you're going to press Shift S and it'll bring this up, the Adjust Sync dialog. You just click Find BPM and this one has a nice neat BPM at 115.12 there's no uh, discrepancies there if there was if there was differing BPMs you would see different percentages of what it thinks it might be so then you would hit apply BPM and it'll tell you how much silence you have in the beginning now this works for Aero Vortex but we have to do a little bit of extra work to get it to go properly in Chromapper so let's take a look at that we will now open up the BPM calculator and in this instance we have our BPM of 112 or was it 115.12 can't type today One fifteen point twelve. Convert BPM, and now you will see that we have length of one bar is two point zero eight four eight seconds. Audacity only goes to the thousandth place, so you're gonna round up or down accordingly. So we're gonna use two point zero 
0.85. And now that we have that number, we're gonna come back into Audacity. Remember, hit Control and then scroll up so we can zoom in on this waveform really good. Press Home to go all the way back to the beginning. And we're gonna click right before this beat starts and then Shift, Home, and then Delete. Now we go to the top up here, Generate, Silence, and then we'll have 2.085 seconds. You'll have to type that in there. That's from earlier. We'll hit OK, and then Control, scroll down to zoom out, and you can see that we have pretty evenly spaced four beats of silence. And don't forget afterwards, after generating your silence, we wanna go back to export as OGG, and then go ahead and just save over the original file that we made earlier. Let it do that. And now you have a nice audio file that's ready to open up in Chrome Mapper. Only now, once you have your good audio file, do you want to get into Chrome Mapper and start working. Because if you go in there with a bad audio file, you're just going to be wasting a whole bunch of time. So from here, we're going to click New Map. Hello. Good. Submit it. And then we fill out our fields. Our beats per minute was... 115.12 song time offset is a relic now that doesn't get used anymore that's why we generate silence in audacity and then before we pick our files we have to save it it'll give you a prompt if you miss it and that is it now if you're wanting to do easy normal hard or charts start with those first it's a lot easier to build up than to tear down and it's a lot easier to start doing smaller basic bookmarks and then getting into more detailed ones in the in the harder charts. So I'm gonna start by making a chart unnormal. Check the box, click save to start it. Hit open editor. Yes, you're gonna wanna save. And you'll see the waveform will populate itself for some reason, this likes to default to 3D, even though I've got it set to 2D. This program is still a little bit buggy, for, but for the most part, 99%, it works fantastically. So, and you can see here that on our beats, we'll do one, two, three, four. We'll do four bars out, just so you can hear how synced up it is. Without even opening Chrome Mapper yet, just doing it all with math right beforehand. Easy enough. And that, folks, is how you get a nice synced song started on Chrome Mapper. Now, Mapping is an art. There, it is completely subjective. There are a lot of do's, don'ts. There are a lot of cautious things you do. There are a lot of use sparingly, not nevers. Play around with it. It's, it's going to take you a bit. And my advice is to map what you know. If you are struggling to play on Expert, don't start mapping Expert Plus and Speed Charts because they're probably not going to turn out well. Map what you know. Uh, I'm going to be creating a tutorial video sometime in the future showing how to use bookmarks to your advantage as well as using the key mappings and other presets in Chrome Mapper to make this whole process go a lot faster. Thanks for watching everyone. Appreciate your time and happy mapping.